All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Into the Pit. It is a Hexen style, I think it's a Hexen style. It's a first person shooter roguelike, and I believe it's Hexen-y. It's also a bit of an assault on the senses, so gird your eyes, and let's just dive right in. But yeah, roguelike first person shooter. I think I clarified that. I know I said first person shooter. Ooh, I've been noticing a lot more of these, these uh, visuals. Iridia, my cousin, they call me foolhardy, but you are more reckless than even our grandfather. Your pursuit of arcane knowledge is admirable, but this time I fear you have gone too far. I just, I love these visuals. They're so crunchy. I don't know how to describe them. It's very PlayStation 1, but with modern sensibilities brought back in, it makes everything look really weird. I know you are following a rumor through the wastelands, the scent of dark rituals allowing access to other worlds, but since your last missive begging me to come here, I've heard nothing. It's not like you, a prolific writer, to become so abruptly silent. Well, that's sick. So I promised to find you, and now here I am. At the outskirts of a desolate hamlet under dark eldritch skies. What did you discover, Liridia? Are you still here? And if not, have you left a trail for me to follow? Yeah, it's like so late 90s, but 1080p or higher. I don't know, there's... There's just something truly interesting about these older styles and like what you can do with them. I realize that not everybody is going to like it, but for me it's great because it looks different. It looks so much di Oh my god, I am fast. What are all of these? Looks like shops. Keymaker. Huh? Hello, I'm the keymaker, and you are not so talkative, I see. Well, you don't need to talk to the monsters, do you? And there are plenty of them around at the moment crawling out of the demonic realms of the pit. I am, of course, an expert in the understanding of these demons and their lair. I can craft powerful runes that serve as keys to access their evil realms. However, with so many villagers lost to the pit, there's a little point in running my workshop. Please rescue the fools and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so in that case, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. Because I have nothing. 45 villagers to rescue. Talk to the town clerk. Ruination is upon us, stranger. Profound evil emanates from the great pit. Our beloved alderman has abandoned us and most of the villagers have vanished with him. The remaining villagers are too scared to do anything, but perhaps the Ritual Keeper could help. I beg you, go speak with him. His alcove is in the tunnel, across the plaza. Ritual Keeper. And Outlander, perhaps you can rescue us from this disaster. I'm the custodian of the Ritual Chamber, and it's my job to watch over the pit. It used to be a source of great riches for the village, but now it threatens us all. The Alderman and his runesmiths have overstepped the mark with forbidden rites. A series of demonic quakes scattered the villagers, and an evil storm surrounds us. I beg you, enter the pit, drive back the evil, and rescue our companions. There are enough runes on the shelf in this corridor to perform the basic ritual. Go beyond me, into the ritual chamber. Place the runes within the glowing sigil to open the pit. Once the pit has been opened, you must steal yourself and plunge into its depths. When you are within the first altar chamber, look for my image in a scrying orb, and we will speak further. Rune of Health, Key to the Obsidian Fort, Second Wind, and Early Renewal. Interesting ritual. Begin each journey, journey into the pit with a small amount of motes of renewal. Begin each journey with a cheat death ability already charged. And additional health. Cool. Confirm ritual. Interesting. This is going to be fun. I don't get to play a whole lot of first-person shooters nowadays. I'd love to. I wish I had the time for it. There's just too many other things. Maybe I can get into the whole review business. Yes, Outlander, it's me, but this fascinating spell won't last for long, so listen carefully. In each level of the pit, there are four altars that you need to activate in order to dive deeper. To activate an altar, you must enter the chambers leading from this room and destroy the keystones hidden within. Activating an altar will also reward you with an orb of power. Absorb it to increase the potency of your abilities. The keystone chambers also contain healing pools, lost villagers, or treasure in the form of elemental moats. Some moats you can trade for runes in the village. Others will help you progress here in the pit. I will gift you three orbs of power now. You can select spells to cast from both your hands and enchantments for your armor. Choose your powers wisely. Enter the chambers and destroy the keystones within. Okay, so we can have upgrade your powers, upgrade your powers, upgrade your powers. Upgrade my powers. Okay, so this is probably... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, fires long-range clusters of projectiles. Absorb this power into your right hand. Shotgun or hawk. Long-range high-power projectiles. I 
gonna go with the nebula. That seems reasonable. What is going on with my hands? Another nebula, swarm. Mid-range scattering projectiles are a bomb. I'm gonna go with the swarm. And then... Slows melee attackers, extra max health, or increases damage when health is 90% or higher. I'm gonna grab Mighty Heart. I don't know if that's really worth it. What is this? What are you? Leave this dungeon depth. Alright. Chamber of Healing. Maybe this was a mistake. Destroy the keystone. Okay, I did it. Depth 1, Chamber of Healing complete. Well, that was easy. I shouldn't have done that. Now you have survived a keystone chamber, you may select your reward. If none of the options please you and you have enough motes of renewal, you can summon a new selection. Spell upgrades come in different power levels, and gathering motes of luck will increase the appearance of higher level options. For this orb, I've used my powers to grant you the highest upgrades, but for this you must after this you must rely on your own luck. Now collect your reward, activate the remaining altars in this chamber, and dive deeper into the pit. Okay. Projectiles from your left hand apply poison, causing damage over time. Bleeding, damage over time, especially moving, or reducing coming damage. I'm just going to go for the Venom Bolts. That sounds fun. Chamber has been completed. Oh, I see. We get a choice. So, Chamber of Embers or Chamber of Renewal. Let's just do Embers. Let's see what we've got. I actually should probably fight things. Destroy two keystones. Now, it doesn't look like I have a limited number of ammunition. So I can just kind of do whatever. I'm definitely digging the longer range. Oh, this music is good. What was that game? BPM? This kind of reminds me of BPM, both visually and functionally. Who even... That's who hit me. Okay, took a bit of damage. Okay, I'm just going to destroy it. Both visually and gameplay-wise, though it's not based... Like, it's not a rhythm game. And for me, that's big. Okay, I hear it. I hear the critter. Okay, it dead. More motes of fire. I don't actually know what motes of fire do. Well, we got it. Okay, all, all the motes, all the demons killed. Cool. That's done. So, projectiles from your left hand have increased crit chance. Right hand apply bleed. When you're bleeding, damage is increased. I'm going to go for the accuracy. Okay, and we've got chamber of blood or chamber of wealth. I like wealth. This should be perfect. Get up and in this. I don't see any enemy yet. There they are. I like the extra range. And yeah, I'm going to try and go a little faster here. Something was shooting at me. Ah, you're shooting at me. Unfortunately, I don't quite have the visual read on all of my enemies yet. But I think we're good. I don't see any other enemies. So I think I can just destroy it. Okay, so I think we just want to grab all the moats. And yeah, I'm not done yet. I don't know what these are. Now, do I have a dodge or anything of that manner? Doesn't look like it. Okay, all moats collected. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying this movement. It really reminds me of... Oh, what was it called? Ziggurat. This feels like Ziggurat, but I think I like it better. I like Ziggurat a lot, but I, I felt... Like I wasn't quite there yet. Okay, even more crit. No, that's just additional damage. Rapid fire, right hand fire faster, or enrage after collecting a moat. I'm going to go for rapid fire. I could also refuse power, which gets me some moats. I'm just going to go rapid fire. Okay, and we have 
Chamber of Renewal or Chamber of Wealth. I'm going to keep going Wealth. Okay. There we go. The thing about Wealth, well, Renewal, is, yeah, I don't know what all of my um, options are to begin with. So it's kind of almost pointless to go for one versus the other. There we go. Don't see anything else. Is it just this one? Well, I've already gotten the moats, so I think we're good. Yeah, I haven't taken too much damage. I'm digging it. There's kind of a lo loss of flow here, but maybe that's not so bad. Right hand, apply curse, causing outgoing attacks to hurt the attacker. Left hand, extra poison. I'm just going to do endless toxin, or do we refresh and hope for something better? That's really good. But I'm going to go with Frenzied Looter. Okay. Leave this dungeon depth. Okay. Altars active. Exit to further. Okay, dive deeper. Return to the village. This will end your current run. Your powers will be removed, but you keep any loot you found. I'm going to dive deeper one more time. Maybe. Eh, maybe one or two more times. We'll see. It seems like there's a meta progression system. I, at the very least, we need to rescue some more people. That's obvious. Locked. Oh. Well done, Outlander. You managed to descend to, from the level above. Now you're familiar with how these chambers work. Be sure to look for my lost friends. There are a number of villagers hiding within each dungeon. If you can find any chambers of the lost, speak with them, and I'm sure they'll be, feel safe returning to the village. But not for a turn, they might be able to offer some further help there. All right, cool. So, Chamber of the Lost. Well, I'm not even going to look at my other options. Oh. I assume we just chat with them. Well, finally, I heard the strange. I heard a stranger enter the pit, and it's taken you long enough to find me. Get on with it and destroy the keystone, so I can get back to my home. Fair enough. I dig it. All right, upgrade my powers. So, rapid fire mount, extra range. Let's go with the extra fire mount. So it looks like you can level up these perks. Okay, is this Chamber of Luck or Chamber of Wealth? I'm gonna go Luck. I'm not sure which are most useful for what. That's a big dude with a shield. And a mortar, it seems like. Big thing I'm appreciating. Okay, how the hell do I get up? Not this way, that's for certain. Big thing I'm appreciating so far. No limited ammo. It's purely just upgrades on my hands. Like, holy shit, this might actually be an incredibly good roguelike. I, there are very precious few first person shooter roguelikes on the market. Like, almost none. There's a couple. Most are bad. Most are really bad. What does this do? I see. Okay, we got that up there, but I don't think I can get to it. But I can potentially take this up. I'm just going to get gabbed by something. Maybe? Maybe not, actually. Yeah, I knew it was inevitable. What if there's going to be a double jump power that I could get? I have no idea. The other question is, are there any moats that I'm missing? I really love the floaty fall. It feels pretty good. I think in the future... Okay, there's two keystones. I don't see any other enemies here, so I'm just going to grab this one. Um, I think in the future I might specifically go higher range. Maybe. These levels are big, but I feel like... I feel like having one hand... Well, I don't know. Maybe two mid-range is kind of the way to go, or, or one short, one long. I didn't actually... No, I did get everything. Okay. I was like, I didn't actually look around. I should have. Oh, sometimes replenish health when an enemy dies. Yeah, let's grab that. Just for a little bit of extra sustainability. Grim reward. 
So this is Chamber of Embers again, or Renewal. Hmm. This is Renewal, and this is Embers. Well, I don't know why I'm going for Embers versus Renewal. I guess Renewal might actually be better for some of my purposes, just because. I don't think I need to worry about enemies dropping anything here, which is kind of nice. Okay, and I'm 99% certain that is a ground trap. Okay. Grab it. And worry about Chumbus here. Chumbus is dead. And then there's that. I don't trust those. I don't trust a lot of things. Luckily, I can jump. Like the best of them. Okay, and there's three keystones to worry about. And anyway, I'm getting small amounts of health here. I will take small amounts of health after killing an enemy. Okay. And then I've got to explore a little bit more thoroughly before I get the next one. What are you? I have no idea. It's a creepy cool statue at the very least. Nope, nothing on that. Okay. So, I got all moats. Did I kill all the demons? I think I did? I don't know how much time factors into any of this. I'm going to assume I did. I also don't know if there's any secrets. I There's, there's a lot of this that I'm sure I'm going to find out later on that I didn't do it right. You know, I missed something vitally important. But, is what it is. Uh, let's see. Increased damage from the left hand. Right hand have crit chance. Enrage after being injured. I'm gonna go intensity. I'm liking these passive pro uh, passive progression upgrades. They're kind of minor when it comes down to it. Most of them are just like a percentage here, some extra damage there, a neat effect. That's about it. But that's kind of okay. see you and I see you okay so far so good and there's four here In retrospect I shouldn't be doing that because I saw an enemy and I knew they were there and I was just like I eh, know this should protect me there's always the possibility ooh that was a sound that was a sound I did not enjoy Okay, I don't see anybody else. There's just a couple of ranged enemies here. I'm very glad I went with that burst fire on the right hand. I mean, I think both of my both of my attacks choices were solid. Ooh, that was close. Luckily, bunny hopping for glory. I shit. You know what sucks? I mean, it's not that big big of a deal. Oops. As a health bar for something. The thing that sucks is that there are too many good games. There are too many good games and they take forever to finish, and it's wrecking me a little bit. I don't see any enemies here. Nope, there they are. So we got all the moats. Now all that's left is the murder. I'm sure this is going to get so much worse as we go along, but it is what it is. I got lucky with that. All right, back we go. Nothing here, nothing else here. There we go. Wait, there's, there's too many good games. I... It's a legitimate problem. <laughs> I hope this one actually... People like this one. It obviously a little hard on the eyes, but I love the visual. Projectiles from the right hand plants a seed that explodes on enemy death. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe? Sure. Okay, I think we're good. We can keep going down. I was going to potentially uh, chicken out, but no, we're going to go deeper. I wonder how many, uh, how deep it goes. Also, Obsidian Fortress. I wonder if there's further biomes. Outlander, by now you should know the evil logic of these chambers, but also know there are more twisted dimensions within these depths. Yep. Free enough villages in the Keymaker will offer you additional runes to access these realms. Once you have obtained two of these keys, I'll upgrade the ritual sig sigil in the village and allow you to use such runes in combination. This form of ritual opens the pit to domains that are... An evil hybrid of two realms, with the denizens and hazards of both. 
As you've already seen, the Ritual Sigil also contains slots for support runes. Once you've conquered two dungeons in the pit, I'll open more of these slots for your use. Interesting. Okay, is this a uh, Chamber of Luck? Eh. I should probably start going for some renewals so I can actually replace. Ah, verticality. Blessed verticality. And I'm stuck on the environment. Not so blessed vertical. Oh, shit. I don't know what that was. I'm going to back off from that. It's got to be one of the critters around here. Or... That's my own doing. Well, I'm super glad I've got a healing ability. I'm hearing a lot of critters. There you are. That's got to be the one that was doing the big, big explosions. Poison be nimble, poison be quick. I don't see the enemy that I was just shooting. Uh, there he is. There we go. It might be worth going for like a pair of just full on machine gun hands. Just go big boom, big shooty. Oh, don't get stuck in the environment. Not actually worth it. Safe here for the moment. Grab that one. Grab that one. Okay. Take out the Keystone Keeper. Where are the other enemies? Almost collected. Got them all. I wasn't destroying it? That was weird. I wonder if there's like a full-on pacifism mode that you can actually do with this. Maybe. There's gotta be, right? Let's see, anything else? Anybody else? Not seeing them. It'd be nice if there was a, like, hey, you killed all the demons. But maybe the music stops when I kill all the demons. That's weird. It's effectively, yep, got them all. It's effectively everything I liked about Ziggurat, but without the level exploration. It's all just kind of in its in its own space. I like it. Additional damage and crits. Reduce the damage by a small amount. It's okay. I'm going to keep pushing Explosive Seed, though it's not actually that good. So that's luck and healing. We don't need healing. So I'm going to keep pushing luck. Okay, there we go. Not seeing too much else. There we go. Big damage. Oh, those are... Those are weird, wispy things. Oh! Are they coming out of... They're coming out of this. Okay, that hurt a smidge. But not too much. That's another one of you. Oh, sniped him. I wonder if there's headshots. Because I've definitely felt like I've just gibbed a couple of enemies in the past. Ow. Ow. Just with like a stray shot. And it must have been that. Okay. Oh, it could have been a critical hit. Maybe. Weird. Weird game. But it's like, weird good? I don't know. I grew up with first-person shooters to some degree. I played an excessive amount of them. Uh, an excessive amount of them. Uh, so much of it boiled down to... Games played with friends at LAN parties, primarily. I wasn't really big on them solo, with the exception of, like, Halo. Halo was incredible for me, and I really loved it. And, you know, I've, I, I guess I've kind of always judged a lot of other games based on it. Up until I started playing Tower of Guns. I think that opened my eyes to quite a lot of different incredibly good games. I mean, YouTubing in general has done so. You know, it's just like, oh, hey, by the way, there's like uh, just gazillions of games out there that are just incredibly fun to play. Don't just, you know, play the basic AAA stuff whenever you want. Slowing bolts or accuracy. Many of these are bad. 
We're gonna need a higher luck stat, I think, if I want to actually get the good stuff. Dude, what is this? Chamber of Blood Magic. I'm gonna go for that. That sounds fun. Destroy one keystone. Upgrade my powers. Oh, lose some health in exchange for upgrading a random power. Sure. Do I do, do it again? Sure. We upgraded some things. Whatever we upgraded. Ah, explosive seed. I don't actually know if explosive seed is good. We're not fighting a whole lot of enemies. Okay. Apply weakness. Explosive seed. Reducing enemy damage is like okay, but it looks like explosive seed does not bonk. So I can stack that concurrently with my other abilities. So this is wealth, and this is embers. I'm gonna do wealth. My only immediate problem is I'm starting to run out of HP. Okay. Did I get them all? I did. Cool. Don't think I got any HP out of that, unfortunately. Sometimes they do. Did that heal me? Might have only healed me for one. Okay, whatever that sound effect is, is something. Okay. Take out the skull. I see you. As long as there's not anybody else around here to mess with me. It looks like I only heal a little bit. Which is a bit tragic. Nope, that's not an enemy. There we go. Yeah, getting the slowing bolts definitely might have been a good idea. Alas, but it's fine. Good thing I'm being freaking paranoid here. I did sack a lot of life for a couple of power-ups. It's probably going to be worth it in the long run. All modes collected. The last two. Good to go. Nope, didn't work. Come, break for me. Thank you. And last one's over here. Yeah, do I want to escape with what I currently have? Maybe. I think I'll go down to the last level, or the next level, and just see what I get. Increase your movement speed, critical breath, or explosive seed level four. Yeah, I like that it's additive. Projectiles from your right hand will critically hit if you have not cast with this hand for a couple seconds. Shit, that's really good actually. But I'm gonna go explosive seed. Just make everything go boom. Are we good? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's dive deeper but then I will potentially leave unless there's a chamber of healing that I can get. In the future, I'm going to pay more attention to what chambers I have before I just dive in. Because if I can go to the chamber of sacrifice and sacrifice my health, then heal, that works better. So this is a chamber of the lost, which is super worthwhile. Luck, no. This, I think, is another chamber of blood. Respite. And embers. Well, let's let's get the uh, chamber of the lost. Just getting people's a good idea. Okay, so it's the same deal as last time. What is wrong with my hands? There we go. And what do we have? Bleeding projectiles. Apply curse, causing damage. No, endless toxin. Sure. Okay, next up, I was going to look at Respite. What does Respite do? My descent into the pit has been one of terror and revelation. The realm below is one of many layers, linked by passages like dreams or delirium. The obsidian fortress is patrolled by demons like the ones we saw in Grandfather's Grimoire. A couple of motes of luck. Quite a number, in fact. Doesn't look like Respite means health, unfortunately. 
Some other stuff, but no healing. Okay. So Venom Bolt, ooh, plus three. Up to level five? Yes. I don't know, let's keep going. If I die, I die, what's the worst that could happen? So we've got wealth or embers. I swear we've got a bunch of both. I'm gonna keep going for wealth. Hopefully I get to keep these resources, even if I die. It'd be unfortunate if it's one of those roguelikes that kind of forces you to take the coward's path. Just for the sake of survival. Okay, I heard something. But that bleed, or that bleed, that poison. There we go. Wait, that hurt me? I don't think it did. I might have healed off of it. Oh. These things have... a cooldown. So you can't just bounce off of them endlessly. I guess that would, that would really skunk enemies' ability to fight back to some degree. Don't go in the goop. Kill the scorpion, though. What else we got around here? Anything down low? I'm just gonna... Take the safe way around. There we go. So yeah, I can't snipe those suckers. But honestly, I guess that's kind of fine. Okay, all moats are collected. I don't actually know if all the enemies are dead. There's like a scorpion making its way around. But I've seemingly lost it. Unless that was the only one and I killed it. Yeah, looks like all the music done. Easy peasy. This is really good. Like, I, I will admit, whenever I see this graphic style, uh, especially if I don't pay too much attention to the media, I, I think it's so much e easier to tell if it's going to be good or bad when it's actually in my hands. But when I first saw this game uh, for the Steam Next Fest, I was like, eh, I mean, it might be good. When your poison damage increased, no. Increased damage for the right hand, yes. Yeah, this is a 20% damage bonus, that's no biggie. Pretty dang good. So this is another Chamber of Blood. Or Embers. Oh, but Blood and Embers are slightly different. I'm just gonna keep going Embers. I don't know what it's gonna get me. And there's, there's that. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Woo. I just jumped over a murder dog. Okay. But it's fine. Poison for you. No fear for me. We're good. And I'm squeaking my HP back. Not quickly, but it's squeaking. There we go. Murder dog, nothing else. Something else. Something else that was not particularly observant. But I love being taken by surprise by games. And I know if I've been paying more attention to this, I, this game would not have taken me by surprise. There are many opportunities for me to know exactly what kind of game this is. But it's like, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I don't want to necessarily say that it's like, it's kind of fun to find out whether a ga game is actually going to be good or bad. But like, it really is. It's, it's kind of neat. It's just like, hey, is that all modes? Yeah. Of course, it's a little disappointing when it turns out a game that I was really looking forward to is bad, but that is not the case here. Okay, pierce through enemies. It's tempting. Yeah, let's go for it. Not a whole lot of enemies to per pierce through, unfortunately. Oh, enter the dungeon heart. This is the end, at least of the Obsidian Fortress. Defeat the Pit Guardian. Well... I don't have any way of healing, do I? 
Oh, shit. I guess I don't have a choice. At least that doesn't hurt me. Can I shoot those? No, I can't. Okay, so I just have to circle strafe like a champion. I don't know what those are. They're scary at the very least. Ow. Okay. So he's got round things that I need to be careful of. Okay, he's gone phantom, which means he's got friends. Luckily, oh my god, this got loud. Ow, ow, ow. Freaking shit. I did not see that. Any items you collected in this chamber of lost powers have been removed. Is that just this chamber? Okay, so I still get to keep a number of things. Oh, I got stuck. I didn't notice it. Village grows stronger. Rune Carver's workshop is open. Outlander, you went into the pit and returned. Was anyone down there? Any villager worth their salt would have found shelter and burned that pungent purple weed to fend off the demons. Look for the smoke. You may have also found traces of others of the other stranger, Lyridia. She came here weeks before you, laden with books and tools. I think she was looking for the alderman, but he'd already vanished in the pit. Perhaps you can find her still in the uh, still find her still in the depths. Cool. Okay, how do I know how much Okay, so I have plenty of motes of golden fire. So I didn't lose anything. That's good. Merchant. Uh, hello, Outlander. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time normally. I'd be able to offer you valuable exchange services, but my vault is l locked and my inkwells are dry. My business is to serve the villagers in monetary matters, exchanging motes and whatnot. However, my most n most of my normal clients are lost within the pit due to some incident involving the Alderman. There's simply no point in operating my business without clients to provide for. Eighteen or so returned villagers would make it worth my while. Go forth and extricate them. Okay. Hello, Outlander. Thanks to your efforts and support of my return companion, we've managed to reassemble the machines and reopen the workshop. My workshop can offer a small but powerful set of support rooms for you, if you have the materials. Of course, with more villagers, I might be, might be persuaded to offer more wares to you. Okay, so we own these, but I could potentially buy Rune of Beginner's Luck, Motes of Luck. Eh, it's tempting. What else do we got? A lot, really. So, these give me extra money. Or, extra resources. This is good. Destroying a, he a keystone heals you a small amount. So, Motes of Wealth were worthwhile. Healing pools restore more health. I mean, it looks like it just gets better and better the further you go. What's the most expensive ones? Or is the power more likely to give chaos abilities? Huh. Oh, protection, chaos, mastery, weakness. Cool. Okay, well, unfortunately, I pretty much can't buy anything. However, I'm going to grab the Rune of Midas. Because why not? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab those. What else do we have? Probably should have talked to these. I told you, I won't start the forge until you've shown your medal and rescued my fellow villagers. Three or more. Ow, oh, I was close. Who's this one? Enchanter. Go away, stranger. I'm trying to find my books. Uh, where are they, the damn things? Did the, some foolish scribes take them into the pit? I cannot upgrade your runes without my books or scribes to consult. If you want my help, I suggest you leave me alone and go rescue some of my more wayward colleagues. Cool. I think that's almost everybody that I can talk to except for the clerk. You must delve deeper. Go further than the pit until you found my, my friends. I fear that even our precious alderman might be lost down there or worse. Alright, cool. So, at this point, another run. So, there is a meta progression system, but I'm kind of fine with it. So, you're alive. I shall not congratulate you. You must grow stronger and wiser if you're to find the Alderman and conquer the pit. Mock well what I've told you. Provide the Keymaker with the resources he needs, and he'll grant you a key runes you can use to unlock further pit realms. You'll need to visit these realms to save our villages and gain more power. The rune carver in the plaza can sell you support runes and help you in your search. Gather the motes he requires in order to buy these vital aids. The Enchanter can upgrade your support runes, increasing their power levels multiple times, but he is a timid fool and won't serve you until he's saved more villagers. Finally, the merchant in the plaza can exchange your moats one type for another. This means nothing. 
Nothing you find in the pit will go to waste, but he does charge a hefty fee. All right, cool. So there's more to do. I want to just kind of take a look at these. There's three of these. I wonder if they correspond with bosses. They might. I don't know. This game is sick. I love it. I can't wait to play more. He has something else to say. What is it? I've told you all I can, Outlander. Rescue villagers from the pit. Acquire new keys and access further realms and pursue the Alderman. Well, there we go. All right. As far as first-person shooter roguelikes goes, this one just shot straight to the top of my list. It's incredibly fun. I love the crunchy visuals. The gameplay is solid. It's very Hexen. It's very Ziggurat, and it's very Tower of Guns, and that's what I love. Some verticality, I think, would, would have gone a long way, but I realize that would also be so much harder to work with uh, that I think that truly only works with games like Tower of Guns. So I can't expect in every single one of these... But I'm, it's, this is a lot of fun. I think I'm going to play more of this. I don't know when. Oh. I might be able to start streaming again this week. I think I found my stream game. Because all my other games are too easily spoiled or too easily backseated. But this, this is good stuff. Anyway, with all that said, The Pit is now available. Into The Pit is now available on Steam. And I don't actually know how much it costs. Let me check. They just sent this to me. It... Doesn't say. However, uh, the other thing I should probably mention is that it is actually available on PC and Xbox One and the Xbox Game Pass. So, if you have that, you can actually play this yourselves right now. But with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more, the, more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play more of this. This is really fun. Uh, but with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.